This is the Tesla Model X. It's electric, good looking and very fast. It comes with four wheel drive, up to seven seats and a huge mobile phone built into the dashboard. We've come to Ireland to drive this one before we need vaccinations and a snatch Land Rover to cross the border. So let's talk about the elephant in the room. This car is nearly 140,000 pounds. It's not exactly an affordable family bus, is it? Even the Aston Martin DB11 is only 20 grand more than this. And that's got a stonking great V12. That means the Model X is more expensive than the equivalent SUV from Audi, Porsche, Alfa Romeo, or even Range Rover. And does it feel like two Range Rovers in here? Well, not really. There's another problem too. Charging. But we drove this for a couple of hours last night on the way to today's location. And then we had to spend four and a half hours refilling the batteries. Yes, before you say it, I know Tesla are building superchargers left, right and center, but out here, the only supercharger has four hooves and a small man sat on top. So the Model X is very expensive, slow to fill up and doesn't feel especially premium on the inside. Why on earth would you buy one? Well, for one, you can have your Tesla Model X with 762 horsepower. And that means you can do this. <laughs> uh, every time. It's not just the 0 to 60 either. The acceleration while this thing is on the move is just incredible. While the cabin isn't on par with the likes of a Range Rover, it's not a bad place to be. You've got bags of room. I can't even get my elbow on the door. You've got this great dashboard layout, very minimalist, but with that huge screen right in the middle. You've got great information laid out in the screen in front of the steering wheel, including a nifty little power device. The windscreen goes right above the driver's head. It's a bit like sitting in a jet fighter. Not bad for an automotive startup which began by cutting an engine out of a Lotus Elise. And then there are those doors. Tesla calls them Falcon doors. Call them what you like. They look fantastic. And you can open and close every door from the dashboard screen. Why don't all cars do this? The Model X is pretty to look at, handles well, and has enough room inside for a pack of rugby players and many sacks of potatoes. It accelerates like a spaceship despite weighing two and a half tons. It's a vision for the future which actually works. Photographer Dan decided that he didn't really like the torrential Irish rain, so we sent him to find another car to compare with the Tesla. It had to be a car with a cult following, built by a small manufacturer with cool doors and a Lotus connection. That'll keep him busy for a while, or so we thought. Mr. Bathy. Hello. What is that? It's a DeLorean. <laughs> yes, it is. 1981 DeLorean. Pretty cool, eh? It is very cool. I think it's about time I took it for a spin. Be my guest. Thank you very much. This looks like a good enough road for it, doesn't it? Except where we're going, we don't need roads. Except you do. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Have fun. You reckon this will get to 88 miles an hour? No, uh, I reckon I can. Well, let's give it a go. <laughs> What you're looking at here is a 1981 DeLorean. It was built by the Irish and sold to Americans with a British chassis, a French engine and Italian styling. It was only in production for a couple of years before the boss found himself caught in a drug smuggling row. It was later featured in the Back to the Future movies, but by then the company had already gone bankrupt. It is undoubtedly one of the most rock and roll cars of all time. 
But is it any good at being what it was designed to be, a sports car? The good points. The looks, the doors, the sound, the movie. It's rear wheel drive, it's rear engine. In fact, the car was engineered by Colin Chapman, founder of Lotus, and the frame, the chassis of this, is very closely related to the Lotus Esprit, so it handles pretty well. It's got stainless steel body panels mounted to a fiberglass frame, so rust is never gonna be a problem. Tape player, all you 80s kids, you know you want a tape player, and what's more, this one, is set to 88, oh yes. The bad points, it doesn't like going, it doesn't like stopping, the steering wheel's on the wrong side of the car. The engine is a 2.85 litre V6 from Renault, which boasted, wait for it, 130 horsepower. I don't know what kind of horses they used. Seahorses, perhaps. And that three-speed automatic gearbox is woeful. I don't know why they bothered. In fact, to show how slow it is, this is what happens when you put your foot down from a standing start. So the DeLorean isn't a very good sports car. It's better as a time machine, because by the time it gets to motorway speeds, I've turned into a very old man. So is it any better as, well, just a car? It's allergic to petrol. The number of times we've had to stop today to put petrol in, and then it just vanishes, it disappears like it's vomited up through the engine. In fact, the DeLorean was so thirsty, our film crew developed a whole new definition of range anxiety, which is ironic, given that the much faster, bigger and heavier Model X didn't need charging all day. No wonder Doc Brown decided to power his DeLorean with plutonium. It would have been cheaper than using petrol. And it's not as if the DeLorean was a cheap buy either. In 1981, it cost $25,000. That's about $70,000 today. Even by the standards of the 1980s, it wasn't a very good car. But you find yourself falling in love with it in a way that you just don't with the impressive but clinical Tesla. So if the Tesla's like a smartwatch, stylish, expensive, but it can tell you how you slept last night and what you're gonna have for breakfast tomorrow. This is more like one of those Casio calculator watches that, that were around in the 80s. They weren't very good, but you still wanted one. The Tesla is without question the better car. And yet, when it came time to give the DeLorean back, I didn't. The only thing this thing doesn't have is a flux capacitor. Or should I say, an influx capacitor. We're here in beautiful Ireland in this lovely dry weather to drive a Tesla Model X. And a DeLorean. Let's make like a tree and get out of here. Oh, one side. <laughs> <laughs> You're not yeah. raising curiosity. Yeah, I shall raise some curiosity there. Get on with it. Wait for it. <laughs> <coughs>
<laughs> That'll do. <laughs> I'll do that again. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. <clears throat>